Alright people, so I kind of made a, I made a video a few days ago to, uh, on, on the so-called weed day ta talking about, um, you know, how a lot of people like to go out and say, you know, oh, I'm a stoner, I smoke weed and it's such a great thing to do. You know, it's almost a badge that people wear, oh, I'm a stoner. And they, and they think marijuana has like no bad effects. I see people saying, you know, it's not bad for you. Y you know, that, that's just not true. That's just not true at all. And then I see a lot of people say, well, I smoke weed because I'm depressed. Or, you know, it helps me with, with anxiety. Which is complete bullshit. Because if you take a drug or some medicine for something, you don't fucking smoke it. I mean, see, that's the most idiotic uh, um, statement ever. I, you know, oh, I, I take weed for depression, but I smoke it. You can get the fucking cannabinoids and other uh, stuff that is actually in marijuana. You could take it in different forms other than smoking it. It's just totally retarded to, to say, oh, I smoke marijuana. For, you know, you, no, you don't smoke a drug. It's just an idiotic statement. And, and, and I mean, pretty much everybody admits medical marijuana is a thing. It marijuana can be used to treat numerous diseases there are, there are legitimate uses of it but there are so many people abusing the fact that marijuana can be used for medical purposes and they are either using it as an excuse or oh, I'm, I'm smoking it medically for depression you know the, the whole depression thing is so ridiculous too people like to say they have depression you know why because a doctor told you so uh, depression, in my opinion, is a fucking emotion. It's a feeling. It's not a disease. Everybody gets depressed at times. Sometimes you get really depressed. Let's say a family member dies. You, you're you probably going to be really depressed for, you know, uh, a few weeks or a few days, a few weeks, whatever. You know, if something really bad happens, you're going to be depressed. I get that. You know, anxiety. Everybody has anxiety at times. But I think part of the reason people think they have depression or anxiety is this whole culture promoting, um, promoting, you know, this whole depression lie. The promoting that depression is, you know, a disease. And I see so many people all, all the time saying how depressed they are. Like, same thing. It's almost like a badge. You know, to, they, they want to feel sorry for themselves and show people how sad they are. They want to be the saddest person out there. You know, they act like they have it the worst. Oh, my God, my my boyfriend broke up with me. My boyfriend cheated on me. Oh, my God, the, the world is falling apart because of this or that. Or You, you know, and, and they act like they're depressed 24-7. And, oh, I smoke marijuana for that. Ah, you know, but but it's a culture that promotes being depressed, in my opinion. Um, it's, it's kind of the, the whole liberal culture that, that kind of promotes that. You know, feeling sorry for yourselves and shit. And, uh, you know, I, I just see a lot of people on social media that just complain all the time. And they try to act like they have depression or they're, they're, they're depressed. So... But yeah, how, how do you fucking smoke a drug for medical purposes? You know, all other, there, there's not one other drug that a doctor would give to you that you smoke. And again, people again use it as an excuse. Oh, I, I smoke it for depression. Now you smoke it to get fucking high. And people don't realize that, yes, there are cancer causing substances in marijuana. You know, the smoke that you inhale with marijuana is not good for you. It's it has adverse health effects. I mean, studies have shown that. You know, no marijuana is not like cocaine or even al even alcohol in, in, in a lot of aspects. But it does have negative health effects. And, and it's not this great drug that that's you know that that has more positive benefits for you than negative. I mean, there's other ways to cure depression. You know, like me. How do I handle depression? We all get depressed, like I said. But I mean, I mean, let's face it. We live in fucking like America, or the chances are, if you're watching this video, you're you're not a starving child in Africa. You know, I mean, we got it pretty fucking good compared to the rest of the world. 
I mean, I think our country could be better and all. But I mean, it's not like I'm in a dire situation where I'm starving, you know, where I'm, you know, uh, where my life's at risk right now. You know, I'm a pretty happy person. Okay, you know, let's say, why, why are we depressed in life? Why? You know, some of the main reasons, maybe. Work, you know, um, school, maybe. You know, yeah, it's a lot of time, maybe. You know, you got to study for a test or you got a big job interview. You know, again, but those things pale in comparison to, to you know, some of the more extreme things people go through in life in, in other countries. Um... So uh, people act like they have it the worst here in America because, oh, their boyfriend, you know, is not a good boyfriend or whatever. And, you know, like, again, why do we get depressed? You know, I, it, it's the, the, they are minor issues in the grand scheme of things. When I see people complaining about their lives, oh, I'm lonely. Oh, I'm, I'm lonely. Oh, yeah. You know, okay, you're lonely. I'm lonely too. Who the fuck cares? I mean, it's not that big a deal. People go around saying, "Oh, I wanna, I wanna find a good boyfriend." You know, worry about more important things. It's not a fucking big deal that you're single. You know, it's not bad to be single. But again, people use all these these issues as excuses to smoke weed or say they're depressed. And I'm just so sick of people saying they're depressed. They have depression. And then the doctors put them on all these fucking fucked up drugs that, that make them money, billions of dollars, because they have depression. It's follow the money, people. Depression is not a fucking disease. It is a fucking feeling that we all have throughout our lives. And, and how do you fix it? You fix it by getting shit done. You, you, you get shit done. You know, if you have a problem, fucking fix it. Go out and fix it. Don't fucking take a pill or smoke weed. Go out and fix it. I mean, we can all fix things. If you're feeling lonely, well, then go try to fucking meet new guys or some shit. You know, if you're worried about a test, study. Oh, yeah, you know, probably the most, the, the reason people have anxiety about tests or job interviews is because they don't prepare. They don't feel like preparing. They don't have the energy to prepare. They're too lazy. Probably because they're smoking weed all day. But, you know, do shit to, to fix your problems. Don't re don't rely on a fucking pill. You know, it's just... This whole depression thing is pissing me the fuck off, so... I don't know, what do you guys think? Am, am I right, am I wrong? I don't know. But I do think that, you know, weed has been shown to lower stress levels. Has been shown to... Uh, you know, kind of relax people, make them not give a fuck. But the thing about that is, okay, you smoke weed. Oh, I'm going to smoke my joint here. Okay, now I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck that, you know, I'm failing a class. Or I don't give a fuck that this happened. Okay, but then what happens when that weed wears off? Then, it, you know, you're right back to that same feeling again. So it's only a temporary fix. You know, if you, you know, let's say you're failing a class. You know, school is stressing you out. Okay, instead of instead of smoking weed, maybe we uh, study a little bit more, you know, study for that test, go to class, don't skip class instead of smoking weed. See see what I'm saying there? You know, so that's all I got to say, people. You know, smoking weed has its negative health effects, and I think there's much better ways to dealing with depression or problems in your life than taking a joint. Um... Like I said, I do think marijuana has numerous health benefits. I just don't get why we have to smoke it to feel those health benefits when there's other ways of taking the drug um, that are you know that that aren't as bad for you because obviously the smoke, you know, you, you inhale the smoke and you actually hold it in for longer than you would tobacco. Um, so actually, it, it, it can be bad for you, obviously, but. People don't don't bring that up. They don't talk about that when when promoting how great weed is. Oh, it's such it's so great. No, it actually does have some negative health effects. We got to remember that too. But, but yeah, like I said, there's better ways to deal with your problems than smoking a joint. Uh, that's all I gotta say. You know, when when you have a problem problem in life, you know, fix it. <laughs> you know, and I realize you know some problems. You know, if a family member dies. You know, okay, 
You know, obviously you can't bring them back from the dead. But again, if you smoke weed, it's not going to bring them back from the dead either. Like I said, it might temporarily make you feel better, but you're still going to know they're dead. You know, so, so I don't think the problem to, to you know, for pro, uh, to, to solve your problems is weed. It's to, uh, you know, solve the problems, go through life. Life's, a, you know, it's a sad, you know, your life contains sad moments. It contains unhappy moments but it also contains happy moments too so we got to keep that in mind so there you go people there's kind of part two there to my rant on weed